It's wonderful to be at Middleport Pottery this morning and to welcome His Royal Highness here. It's been four years of work and for somebody who's visited here on many occasions from my very first visit with Ros Kerslek and seeing the state that the buildings were in to uh, be back here today, everybody's excited, the buildings looking marvellous, the collections uh, or the archives have been saved, but also the amazing skills of the workers uh, that are here, traditional skills that have all but died out in Stoke-on-Trent, still here, still working, still producing pottery as they have always done for 125 years. Um, I'm quite excited. lots of tourists and I think um, the way that it's been done and like the access from the canal side will get more visitors off the barges and the boats that pass. Yeah. Yeah. There, isn't, there isn't many potteries, working potteries still going and this one must be one of the oldest. So when English Heritage approached my trust about the imminent closure of this world famous company and a seemingly inevitable breakup of its workforce, the loss of traditional skills, and the destruction of so many industrial artifacts and uh, archives, including the unique collection of moulds. And if you ever have a mini place of them, you must go and look at the mould store, because it is unbelievably special, the atmosphere and everything else. So perhaps you can imagine I was determined that this could not be allowed to happen, the loss of all these things. Now, as some of you, I've no doubt heard me say before, uh, to your intense boredom, I suspect, I've always believed that um, heritage led regeneration, in other words, finding new uses for uh, redundant heritage buildings and turning them into real assets for their local communities, is absolutely vital in bringing new industry and business to the area, boosting the economy and providing much needed employment and prosperity. So I hope that this project at Biddleport is proving to be a catalyst for further regeneration in Bursley and, and more widely. 